Okay, now we're going to talk about co-function identities. And we're going to take a look at some really quick and simple examples. All right, first we have the sine of a equals the cosine of 90 minus a. So these are the co-functions. Sine and cosine are co-functions. Tangent and cotangent are co-functions. Secant and cosecant are co-functions. So this is just the, the look and feel of these co-functions. So let's go ahead and work out some examples. So we have the cosine of 8 degrees. We're asked to write this in terms of its co-function. So what is the co-function of cosine? It's sine. All right. So cosine then would be the sine of 90 minus, in this case, 8. All right. So that one's really simple. This is going to be the sine of 90 minus 8. Eight. So this is really simple. This is the sine then of 82 degrees. All right, so really simple. So there's our answer there. Let's take a look at another one. All right, another one, in other words. So we've got the tangent of 33 degrees. All right, so let's see. We've got the cotangent then of 90 minus 33. All right, so let's see what that looks like. All right, so we've got the tangent then of 90 minus 33. That means it's the cotangent. Let's see, cotangent, 90 minus 33. Sorry about that. I think I had said tangent. Cotangent of 90 minus 33. And what do we get? We get the cotangent of 57 degrees. All right, so there we have it. Now let's look at one last example, and then we're done with these co-function identities. They're really simple. This one's a little bit more challenging. So the secant, the co-function is going to be the cosecant. So we're going to look at cosecant of 90 minus. Now I'm going to call all of this like my A, all of this. So 90 minus theta minus 47. All right, looks something like that, and then close it off. Now we can distribute this negative sign, and we're going to get, what do we get here? We get the cosecant of 90 degrees minus theta plus 47 degrees, and we're going to combine our like terms. We're going to get the cosecant then of 137 degrees minus theta. All right, so there you have it three really good examples of applying these co-function identities and they're actually really quite simple.